I wanted to make people feel some kind of a peace, almost as a, as a way a person can be grabbed out of his busy life. My name is Anthony Howe. I'm a kinetic wind sculptor that works primarily in stainless steel. My favorite uh, sculpture of mine right now is still kind of Lucia. It's got a combination of, of asymmetrical forms and asymmetrical feel to it. it it's, it's got a lovely movement where it seems small and then expands to a, a big flower. I chose Orcus as a place to work because we needed to have a good uh, source of wind. Had a view of the ocean and a very good exposure to the wind. The highest winds that I've recorded in my field have been around 50 miles an hour. Stuff that moves captures my passion more than stationary things. Do. When I was a kid, I used to make things with my hands. That was my biggest pleasure in the world. I started doing making kinetic sculpture like this about 30 years ago. And when I first started making these things, it was almost like, like someone had touched me and said, this is your life, that you are. I had chills up and down my back. Um, that was a moment I knew what I should do. I start uh, by, usually by using a computer to design the, the a very sort of uh, vague idea of how it's going to look and spin, refine that design and start analyzing the way the wind's going to move it. It's almost essential that you build it with hands. Uh, where it needs to be curved, where it can be flat, where it needs to be shiny, that's more where the exploration is. I was contacted by Marco Balich to uh, if I was to see if I was interested in designing the cauldron. We came up with a design, more sun-like design. It was a kind of a spiraling, uh, highly reflective, uh, shiny stainless steel balls design. Xiaomi 6. It's a little more minimal than a lot of my, my sculptures. I put a lot of effort into the phone. We made a mirror-like stainless steel back to the phone, which is very beautiful and elegant, smooth, and uh, also kind of invisible in a, in a way. The philosophy behind my design of this phone and its beautiful polished surface is to reflect the same quality inherent in its users' lives and environments. Make material has life. It brings the environment closer to the people's lives, bringing a magical quality into the user's lives. The manufacturing of this phone is, has a very critical aspect. It needs to be built in a very sterile, very dust-free, very clean environment. Uh, if the, that tiny particle gets into the, into the phone, it can, can mess up the construction. Often when you're talking to people and they, one of the first questions people want to know is how long it took you to make, make something. How long it took you to make something? Well, it took a lifetime to 